Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Paige, and I am going to set up this heater in my room, which is behind y'all, um, because it is very cold. If you can't tell by the walls, I am in the basement. My room is in the basement now, and I just got this heater today. It is. Energy. Oh, you can't even hold on. Honeywell Energy. It's my electric radiator. The safety matters. Energy saves my simple. So I've already opened the box before I started all the equipment. Um, as you can tell. Put you this side. Uh, as you can tell from the box, you can, um, it has a 360 degree tip over switch. It's an overheated protection, thermal insulated wiring, reinforced wiring connections, and premium trade oil. And there's a safety set off. It's right here. Y'all are reading the Spanish side, so I'm sorry. My name is on the other side, and I don't want it shown. But the safety set off is automatically shuts off if tipped over in any direction. I think that's good. Um, okay, I'm going to switch it to the English side now. Controls. Two. It has two heat mode, so it's a constant high mode. Of 150 watts or 1,500 watts, and then a constant low mode of 900 watts. It um, automatically regulates power consumption based on set temperature control. Energy usage indicator displays amount of energy used at any time. It has a power for 1,500 watts, and it can run from one hour to 12 hours auto time off auto off timer and then it's a quiet operation so it has easy glide wheels move the heater from room to room it has a large and easy pull luggage style handle in the middle sorry if y'all can't see that and then it has cord wrap for conventional off seasonal storage um so let's pull it out. Okay, so I gotta pull it out this way. I gotta turn the box around and pull it out like this. Like this, because the wheels are down here. So let's pull this stuff out. I just got it ordered today, and I got it today. Thanks to Target pickup. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't think so, but I don't know how often it comes out. <laughs> this is hard. Okay. So I got, oh, okay, so it does come off. You got to put it together. That's so good. You got the two things and the wheels, the four wheels are down here. And we'll move two, I don't know what they are. We're going to pull it all out Oop. and set it aside. So that way we know which is which. Okay, so that's out. Now... Got to pull it out of the box. I'm gonna stand up and pull it out. So I don't hurt myself doing it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Hopefully, I don't drop it. Well, let's put it down. Hmm. How does it go? <laughs> I 
That's smart. They put that on there. All right. I'm going to bring y'all closer so you can see how it looks on the inside. This is what it looks like at the bottom. I don't know how it looks. Y'all can see. Okay. So, this one is turned the right way as far as I know. But this one is not. So, let's turn it around. You got to tip it and turn it. There it goes. Okay. And then it also comes with the stop getting started tips. Read before you. So, we're going to read that. Um, how do I put it together? <laughs> That's all I really care about. <laughs> Take this off. Come on. I don't want the handle with it, I just want this. It's so nice. Holy cow. Look at this. It's so nice. Wow. Wow. It's all buttons, Bo. That's tight. It's all buttons. That is so tight. <laughs> Anyway, let's read this. Um, requires some assembly. Find the wheels nested in the top of the heater and assemble to the enclosed owner's manual. Where the hell is the owner's manual then? Because, uh, Shadi, this is not the owner's manual. The heater contains oil that is permanently sealed and will never require refilling or replacing. That's good. It has no fan. Operation will be silent convection heating. Use the set button to choose between two modes. Number one is the constant heat mode with two heat settings, so constant low. 900 watts, ideal to maintain warmth in a room that has reached desired temperature. But choose constant high, 1500 watts, ideal to bring a room up to a desired temperature or for a larger room, drafty room. So the note says, because the low setting does not require as much electricity to operate, it is more energy efficient and may be a better option if you are concerned about high power consumption. And then heat mode number two is the energy smart start thermostat mode. Helps you save energy. Simply set your desired temperature and the heater will automatically use the minimum amount of energy to meet and maintain the desired temperature. So for best results, please read and save the enclosed onion manual for complete operation and construction. Allow 10 to 15 minutes for the heat to heat for the oil to heat up and reach maximum output. As the heater warms up, the oil in the metal columns may naturally expand and make a slight ticking sound. This is normal and will stop once the oil has reached the optimal temperature. Place heater on floor away from the wall to enclose. Ensure conviction note heating. Note, if the room is large and drafty, it may take longer to warm than a smaller room, or you may need multiple heaters. Do not plug more than one heater into the same circuit. The thermostat on the heater and the thermostat on the wall that controls central heating system may differ in degree due to location, room size, heater placement, and other factors. It is normal for the plug to feel warm, but a loose fit between the outlet and the plug may cause overheating of the plug. Plug this heater into another outlet if this happens. If overheating persists, please have a qualified electrician inspect your outlet. Okay, but I still don't see the onions, man, on how to put the wheels together. So, uh, I hope it's in the box. Because I most definitely don't see it. There's nothing down here, but 
two styrofoam. So, how does it help me put the wheels on? I truthfully don't think it does. This has no owner's manual. How am I supposed to do this with no owner's manual? Mm. Okay, well, it looks like I can figure this out from the box because I'm not wasting my time with it. And as it looks from the box, the wheels on the little band are supposed to be on the bottom. So, we're going to figure this out, okay? <laughs> I hate that this has no owner's manual, but there's no other way to do it, and I'm not dumping this upside down. So, I'm going to lay it on its side and figure this out. I'm going to have to move y'all down so y'all can see me. I'm going to lay it down on the side of the floor. Hmm. Okay, that's too low. I guess I can do it right here. Okay. So I've laid it down on my side. We are going to figure out how to put these stuff in here. Let's see. Uh, I'm taking the wrapper off of this. It's going to figure out how to do this. I guess. I don't really know. Take the wheels out. I'm really sad it didn't come with the owner's manual. Like, that's pretty messed up. But, I didn't know things could come with an owner's manual. My dad can be like, how the hell you put it together then? How do you know you put it together right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> so, let's do this. Um... Okay, well, it looks like I know where the wheels go, because there's only two spots for them, but I don't know how to click in. Do they click in, or do they snap in, or what? Like, how do you know the wheel is safe? Hmm, not just gonna pop off like that. Just, there we go. Okay, so I got a wheel on there. You just gotta push it till it snaps. So we're gonna do the other two just like it. There you go. <laughs> This is so funny to me. Like, I think I'm tired of this. The put together energy. <laughs> it ain't such a... Oh, snap. That one don't want to snap now. Hold on. Let me take the paper off before I snap the paper into it. I'm gonna feel like I can hold on. Alright, that's off. And sticky. Uh, snap. Oh no, it's a runaway wheel. And last one. Snap. <laughs> uh, okay, before, how do I know this is in here? What is this here for? Like, why is it only one on one side? That's really weird to me. Okay, I think this little part right here. Right here comes off, so I'm taking it off. I don't know because I don't have an owner's manual and there's nothing to tell me. So I'm taking it off and it's on both sides, so you're gonna watch me take it off. And then I'm assuming it goes in. How the hell does this even go on here? Like, who in Jesus' name put this together? <laughs> How do I even do this? Like, this sounds so ridiculous. And it's not like I can just set it in there and hope for the best. <laughs> oh my goodness, it doesn't even reach anything. So, how am I supposed to do this? I don't understand. I don't understand. (laughs) 
Like, how is that possible? How? How do you put this on without hurting yourself or the thing? And it's, I'm not supposed to go upside down, but there's no other way to do it. So. Okay. And, oh, still not fitting it. Oh my goodness, nope, this is not long enough. Like it's really not going to work right here. Seriously. Seriously, I, I got it. But you're not supposed to do it like this. So I don't understand how it... Well, I don't understand how it's supposed to stay on. Like, I had to struggle just to get that. Just to get that, I had to struggle. So, I'm gonna go put y'all back up here. Oh no, now y'all can't see. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, well, I got it. So, I don't know, but I got it. Let me put this little butterfly wing thing back on. Why are you tidy lefties? I don't understand why it's only on one side though. Like the butterfly do not want both sides. Okay. So this side. I'm going to bring it closer to y'all so you can see what I've done. It's going to be harder to see because, again, I'm in the dark lighting instead of the light lighting. Actually, let me... Hold on a Okay, so I know that just made it lighter in here, but I don't, I'm not really supposed to have that one on, just because of where it's at and what it does. So, oops, sorry, boo. This little thing right here that's in my hand, that spins, is the butterfly. I have to take that off. This one. Oops, I'm tightening it instead of taking it off. in front of y'all and then I have to push it up no sir get out and then I have to put the other side on it first this is what it looks like so this is what it looks like oops I didn't know I could take it off and show y'all but this is it and this side has to go on first otherwise it doesn't go on at all and it stops right here on the thing. So I've only got this much to work with and this much to tighten with. And then this butterfly net goes on this side and this side only. So we're going to do that. Okay, and then I'm going to put, I'm going to try to find, it's so hard and difficult, it's not really hard, it's just more so difficult and weird because, uh, like, why in the heck is it so complicated to put together, and I feel like I can't get it in the hole. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Whew! Okay. Now I can put the butterfly in there. This cat is walking back and forth. So, that is my cat, y'all. I have two. I have him, and I have 
the system. Well, I say this a bunch because I rescued them at the same time. So if you guys want to know that story, let me know. I have two story times I can do. Um, we're going to get this channel going, okay? I actually have a couple story times. I'm going to write down my story times that I can do. And we will discuss them. Whether y'all want to see them or not. If you don't want to hear them, you don't get to click on the channel. So, I'll tighten this down. Okay. Can't really move. I hate when my nuts can move. Like, I hate that because I don't feel like it's secure enough or my wheel can move. I feel like it's not secure at all. It is so hard to do things but nail it on. So, I've put it together. Now I have to unplug one of my lights and plug it in. But first, we're going to lower it down. Let it sit on its side for a minute. Just so all the stuff not at the top. Because it's not supposed to be that way. This is my ultimate favorite drink from McDonald's. You don't know what that is. It is a caramel frappe with extra caramel. OMG, so good. Alright, now we're gonna set it up. Uh, and that's just another thing I have to dust, apparently. So, I'm going to take this tape off. They have tape on the um no left the stuff on my meter. All right, now I'm gonna. Plug it in. I don't really want to plug it in right here, but there's not a choice. Okay. My room is pretty small and I can't have it next to a lot of stuff. So, what we're doing? Go in the box. Go down in the box. Get off me. So, now we're going to plug it in. All right, guys. I don't really want it right here because it's too close to all the clothes and stuff. But there's nowhere else to put it at the moment. I need to put this over on the other side so it doesn't get blown up. So I've turned it on by pushing this button, and then I haven't done anything with it yet. So that's just all the 
setting that it set itself on already. But I'm gonna just let it run and see how it gets what it gets to. Okay, so I'm pressing this just to see what it gets to. My dad told me to set it on 80 degrees, so I got it set on 80 degrees. Okay, you're not supposed to have your head that close to it, but I'm trying to see. If this is what I'm hearing or if I'm hearing something else. Yeah, that's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the air in the house. So, I have to figure out how to fix this. There's a box somewhere to this, but I can't find it. And it's only got one light bulb in it, so I don't know if I should just take it out so it doesn't burn out or what. I think I'm going to take it out so it doesn't burn out. Oh, no, it's so dark. <laughs> I'm going to take this one out. Actually, I don't want to take it out. Because if I take it out, then I'm going to lose it. But it's too weak to run on its own. I can't tell if that's running or not. Anyway, I'm going to turn the light back on because I don't like it dark. So, that is my little video for you guys. I will be doing a update in a few hours. Um, just let me know how that works. So, I will be back, guys. Bye.